Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday, March 21st Lenten devotional entitled, I Can Count All My Bones. Our scripture reading today will be taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 12, 43 to 51. Chapter 12, 43 to 51, reading in Jesus' name. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, These are the regulations of the Passover. No foreigners to eat of it. Any slave you have brought may eat of it after you have circumcised him. But a temporary uh, resident and a hired worker may not eat of it. It must be eaten inside of one house. Take note of the meat outside of the house. Do not break any of the bones. The whole community of Israel must celebrate it. An alien living among you who wants to celebrate the Lord's Passover must have all the males in his household circumcised. Then he may take part like one born of the land. No uncircumcised male may eat of it. The same law applies to the native born and to the aliens living among you. And the Israelites did not and the Israelites did just what the Lord had commanded. Moses and Aaron. And on every day the Lord brought the Israelites out of Egypt by their divisions. Our psalm for today is in verse 17, Psalm 22, verse 17. I can count all my bones. They stared and gloat over me. I can count all of my bones. The phrase, I can count all my bones, is a figure of speech. They parallel the famous prophecy concerning Jesus on the cross. In John 19, 36, it says, He kept all his bones, not one of them was broken. That passage is paralleled in Psalm 34, 20, and also John 19, 36. I want you to recall the grisly work since it was the day of preparation and so that the body would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was considered the high day. The Jews asked Pilate that their legs might be broken. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then the other who had been crucified along with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he has already died, they decided not to break Jesus' legs, John 19, 31. By means of his crucified son, the Lord gives us the picture through scripture that his son's legs would not be broken. God the Father was emphasizing the connection between Jesus and the Old Testament Passover lamb. You remember in Exodus 12, 46, it said, you shall not break any of its bones. Thus, we see the scriptures teach, and we must believe that the body of Jesus provides us with the protection from God and God's condemning wrath. Jesus is our Passover lamb. By eating his body, we are spared from death and delivered from the Egypt of sin. Let us pray. Father, we thank you that you prepared the meal for us. You delivered us through sin into righteousness by your body. Thank you that you didn't allow one bone to be broken, that the prophecy of old became the prophecy of new and now lives and reigns in those who call upon the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to having you tomorrow, March 22nd. I pray that as we wrap up this early morning 7 a.m. devotional, you will prepare yourself. Find a good Bible preaching church, church today. Get in and worship the Lord Jesus Christ. Until tomorrow, God bless you.